see. I think I need glasses. I literally can't see myself in that screen. I really think I need glasses. I can't see if I'm blurry. <laughs> Good morning. I am getting ready for an RV trip this weekend and I love making videos that shows the food that I'm eating because I swear that's the most difficult part for me when I go anywhere is what am I going to feed everybody? Especially when I've been trying really hard to eat really clean. My kids don't want to eat clean. Joel doesn't want to eat clean, especially on an RV trip. So <laughs> we're going to find something in the middle for all of us. Okay, let's do this. Now, I hate when I click on a YouTube video and I have to like watch this entire video to get the information that I'm needing. So I'm going to give you the information right now. I will put the meal plan in the description for you so you can check it out there. But to start with breakfast, we're going to keep things super, super easy. I said, kids, what do you want to do for breakfast? And they're like, let's do bagels and cream cheese. So I'm going to get raisin and blueberry muffins with two different kinds of whipped cream, cream cheese. And don't forget the orange juice, okay? So that's like a fantastic breakfast. We are only going to be there a few days. And if you wanna throw in some bananas, that keeps everything really simple. Moving on to lunches, I plan on keeping the simple theme. We're going to be doing sandwiches. Normally I have the kids eat wheat bread or sourdough bread. They want white bread. So we are doing white bread, turkey and cheese sandwiches. And I'm going to get Boston lettuce so that I can make a wrap for me and the kids can just have the added lettuce in their sandwich. For dinner, we're doing a combined dinner with a friend that is coming with us. She's going to be making homemade tacos with homemade shells. I am absolutely thrilled. So I'm going to bring a side and a dessert for the tacos. I'm going to make guacamole. So I'm going to have all of the fixings to go with the guacamole and chips. And for dessert, I am going to be making peach cobbler with my homemade peach filling. That recipe is in the Griffiths cookbook that I'll have linked below for you guys. So I'll just need to grab some cake mixes to throw on top of those because I am not going to home make the crust or the topping. You know, I'm keeping things simple. Okay. And for the last meal, we're going to do sloppy joes. And that recipe is also in the Griffiths cookbook, but I will leave the recipe here for you because we're going to make it together here in just a minute because that's what I'm doing today and I film what I do. For the Sloppy Joes, I'm going to buy extra Boston lettuce for the sandwiches and so I will also use that as a wrap. I got all of my groceries and then some. And I only have one question. Why did I keep referring to the lettuce as Boston lettuce? I have no idea. It's butter lettuce. It's butter lettuce. We're gonna start making our sloppy joes by dicing up an onion. These sloppy joes in my cookbook are called Bonnie Joes because my mom has a recipe that's called sloppy joes and this is my recipe of Bonnie Joes. So, you know, you can decide which recipe is your favorite, which one you like the best. They are literally both fantastic. This is just the one I've been making for so long. <laughs> and it's easier, I think it's easier, I think. And here's what I really like about making Sloppy Joes. I always make double. Today, I don't think I'm gonna make double, but Usually I make double and I freeze the other half. It freezes so good. Um, and so you have another meal for you at a later time. I, I really enjoy doubling my recipes if I know that it'll freeze well. Just for those days where you feel like you don't wanna cook or you know, who knows, you have company coming that you weren't aware of, all the things that you're gonna need meals for, you know? I'm going to brown the hamburger and cook the onion in the pot 
And when I tell you how much I love these pots and pans, it is no joke. I really need to get my own set of pans in the RV, which is like really exciting. And they are definitely going to be these. They have, I think they have a new black set with gold handles. <gasps> That's what I would love to put in there or maybe I'll put these in there and keep the black with the gold handles for my own kitchen. I don't really know. They have a ton of different colors. So, you know, oh, so many options. While that's cooking, I'll show you they have bakeware too. So I'll put a link if you guys are interested or if you're in need of, you know, some kitchen stuff. I know it's really early to be talking about Christmas gifts, but if you want this as a Christmas gift, send the link in the description to your husband. <laughs> While the hamburger is cooking down, I'm going to dice up two bell peppers so that I can throw them in and get these kind of cooking and softening up while the hamburger finishes up. I'm also gonna slice up some celery. I didn't actually buy any from the store because I didn't want a full stock going in. And then I remembered I had a little bit in the fridge, so. I'm cutting up some celery to also go in there. Now we're gonna start adding our sauce, and so I'm going to do a half cup of ketchup. And I do mine a little heavy, because I like it saucy. It says three-fourths cup water, but I'm just gonna do a half a cup of water to start with, because I feel like it's always more runny than I would like, so I'm just gonna do a half cup of water and I think that'll be good. Even though I'm the one that um, measured out in the first place, you know, I don't know. Maybe I just changed my preference. The recipe calls for six ounces tomato paste. This is double that, but it's also because I added more than just a pound and a half of hamburger. It's more like just over two pounds of hamburger. So I don't mind adding a little extra tomato paste. Because truly, these are just, I mean, you do not have to follow things to a T. I never do. I constantly am changing amounts and recipes and just kind of eyeballing it. I'm gonna do a half cup of mustard and a half a cup of barbecue sauce. It's the slop. Yeah, yeah it's the slop to the Joe's, honey. <laughs> Okay, very last ingredient is brown sugar. Folks, I didn't say this was um, healthy <laughs> with all the like processed sauces and brown sugar. It's fine though because it's delicious and if you're eating healthy most of the time, then it's okay to have this sometimes, okay? It's delicious. Is it like you are making? Yes, honey. Do you like it? <laughs> you just got a big head nod from Boston. I'm not sure how appetizing that looks, but how I'm going to pack it is probably by just putting the lid on it and once it's cooled off, putting it in the RV fridge and then warming it up on the stove when we get there. And whatever is left over, I'll put in a baggie and put in the freezer when we get home. Because I just know when we get home, like anything left over from camping, it's not really appetizing, but if I stick it in the freezer, don't think about it for, you know, a couple of weeks, it'll be great to pull out and finish the rest of it. Because that makes a lot. Like it goes a lot further than you think. You can camera out. Huh? Keep the camera out. Okay. I have an update on the cuttlefish. On the cuttlefish. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. I can't wait, actually. Um, so the cuttlefish is one of the smartest animals in the whole entire ocean because a scientist, I forgot the name of it, her, um, she tested the, uh, the cuttlefish was in a maze and it, it could get out in almost three seconds. Um, and they figured out that um, they they when they were sleep when they go to sleep they have dreams, but they thought that only I forgot the word for it, but only like backbone creatures had dreams, but cuttlefish don't, so they proved scientists wrong. Well, I don't know if to say that, but <laughs> kind of, and. Is that it? Oh yeah. Oh. Um, in cuttlefish have ink like squids and octopus, 
but scientists thought the ink was really good, so, that, so now they use the cuttlefish's ink for batteries. Really, Boston? That is so neat. Okay, if you guys did not watch the last two videos, two or three, two, then you're missing out on cuttlefish information, so go back and watch those two if you wanna hear about the cuttlefish. I'm gonna put them in the description for you because you're not gonna wanna miss them, huh, Bossy? <laughs> Very little by little, we are going to start stocking the RV with permanent items to leave in there. My goal is to use a lot less paper products, but you do need to have them in there just in case, and so I bought its own paper plates, paper bowls, and utensils, along with cling wrap and tin foil. Okay, so I've got those. These are things that stay in my kitchen, but that I just am not gonna rebuy right now, so I'll just transfer them and then put them back in my house. There is one thing that I went and got today. So where we're going, it is going to be, a, it's gonna be cold. Mom, this is my cup. The blue one is beautiful. That one is your beautiful blue one. Olivia's, Dad's, Mom's, Cody's, and Lincoln's. How handsome are these, okay? So these are going to stay in the RV, and we're gonna have hot chocolate with them, or hot tea, herbal tea. Hot chocolate sounds good. Or soup. You know, oh, just delish. This is so fun. If you're looking for a really good herbal tea that tastes like fall, this is your guy. This is how we're going to end our evening. Joel brought over the RV. We're going to get it packed and ready to go. So stay tuned for tomorrow because we are gonna go somewhere fun for a couple of days. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye. I knew I just did something wrong. Sorry, Joel.